Hello everybody! Melanie's here for another unboxing. Let's change it up a bit today. We've got a Dreamer Designs uh, unboxing. It is open, but it, that's because I think I've got to it in now. I was checking. This is a Dreamer Designs box. As you can see, their colours, they're like purple. And we do have a fancy handle. So if you want to carry it round or... I was going to say lob somebody, but don't do that. Don't, no, I don't condone violence at all. Right, why diamond paint? It says on the side of the box. Let's have a look. Can you see that? Yes. It says reduces stress and anxiety, improves your focus, helps your fine motor skills, increase your social circle, helps to spark creativity. And let's have a look on the box. It's demonstrations on how to do it. So when you're diamond painting, a lot of, um, they don't always tell you. that They do now instructions, it's changed, but they didn't tell you when I started doing it. And like we have a number here, do you see this? Let's have a look. You see this here, it shows you a little bit of the legend that we speak of. So when you've got all your diamonds out and everything, to refer to it, on the canvas there'll be a symbol. Now next to that symbol on your legend will be a number and that will tell you what number to put on that symbol. Or some people do it, name the bags, one, two, three, four, five, that makes it easier for them. For me, how I do it is I put the symbol on mainly, but then I also put the number on that the symbol represents. The reason I do that is when you come to finish your diamond art painting, and you have any diamonds left, you've already got the number of the diamond symbol on the bag. So I can put the save, I save my drills and put them away in organized numbers, in drawers actually. I have a five, it's got five drawers in it, like a chest of drawers, it's slim and it has five drawers in it. Um, it's fantastic how people put them in boxes, but I don't want boxes everywhere and to have to root through them. So I do bigger bags and I do them in, I do another video of that sometime. Right, let's get on with this. Diamond canvas kit contents. Dreamer cloud canvas, pre-sorted diamond pieces, two styles pens with multiple head options, two white diamond trays, two wax caddies, diamond straightener tool, black diamond tweezer, extra Ziploc bags, reusable tool bag, reusable carry bag, instruction guide. And then they have on there sparkling diamonds with AB accents. AB stands for Aurora Borealis. Aurora Borealis is like the northern lights in the sky and the colours, legally licensed images. That's fantastic. So full drill diamond fill entire canvas, dreamer cloud canvas, lifetime warranty, plus uh -oh insurance, like if you spill your drills or anything like that. And the website for dreamer designs is www.dreamerdesigns.com. There you are. So let's get into it. I'll start here because I've opened it and I think I do have a... Yes, we do. No, we don't. But I have got one. Let's get this out. It's in like a, a bag. It's proving to be a bit tough to get out of there. And I will just find the bag for you. Yeah, let me see. Some of it in there. Right, let's go through the tool kit first. Like Diamond Art Club, you do get um, little, very similar. Oh, those are all I've kept. I keep them all in different ones. You get a couple of caddies of wax, like this looks, it's pink wax, and they have got screw on lids. And you have to remember when you do it there, there's like a little film on top of that wax. 
legs and with your nail or something just take that off like that and dip your pen inside there so it retains in the nib of the pen when you've got a bit in the nib of the pen then you're ready to go then we get two squishes and two pens we get one with a nib like that and then there should be another one yeah I've put the nib in this pen actually two when there's one like that where it's white at the bottom these are great for gem drills and AB drills because sometimes the powder that's on top of the drills is hard to sort of I put it on this little pen that I have um, and you get a four placer and you get a straightener a little bit different with German black club. You get a big, I haven't got it all together, have I, Mallory? You get a, here we are. Sorry about this. Oh dear. We get a tray like this. I think they might have changed it now as well. It says Juma Designs on the back. I love this tray. I use this tray for quite a lot for my big ones. And then I've got new trays now. So let's get on with this now. We get it in a little bag like this. So if you're halfway through your um, diamond art picture, you know, painting it, and you want to put it away, if you've not got a desk to leave it anywhere, well, it's quite easy to put it back into this bag and keep it in there. So I always turn them the other way. Right. This is the legend. It comes loose with the... Yes, they are. This is an updated one. So it's called The Visitor by Dreamer Designs. Well, that's not the artist. I will find the artist on here. Let's have a look because they don't say the artist on the front of the box. Um, it's a lovely ribbon. Let's have a look. It should say the artist on here. This is what I'm wanting to look for. Move the drills just there for now, and this is the legend. We have, I'll get to it. We have 59 colours, and these are easily separated, as you can see there, so that you can put it on your containers, whatever you like to keep up in. I do have a video on how I organise my drills if you want to check that out. So I'll put that there. Let's open this. Because it's got pod glue on, it's quite it's really good and we've got a little place of fighting thing <laughs> right this one it says here let's have a look the visitor legally licensed from michael humphreys so that's the artist the size is 60 by 60 centimeters and then 23.6, 23.6 inch. And it's a legally licensed artwork. Now this one, I'm really looking forward to doing this one. This one is called The Visitor. Sorry about the glare. Let's get it in there. Can you see that better? Let's try this light off. There we are. It's called The Visitor. And I just love this scenery because it's like quiet. And we always think unicorns, when you ever see them, they're like serene and they need to be quiet and gentle because they're very spooked very easy. And this unicorn here, you can see here having a drink in the water. Do you know, I don't know if it is a unicorn. I think it is. Have a look. Trying to see the yes, yes, it is the visitor. Paint with passion. We've got lots of fauna and fauna here for the greenery, but a lot of people say that the um, Dreamer designs are quite saturated colour. But do you know it looks totally different when it's on there. It does, and it, I'll show you the drills as well, so you'll be able to see what. There we are. That's better for you, isn't it? 
Uh, let me just turn you around a bit. See if that's better. Put it all in here. I need to be down the other way. There we are. So you can see that. And look at this lovely waterfall coming right down for having a drink. And it's in complete quiet surroundings. It looks beautiful. You can see the images there. That one is a deer. And then that's a little fawn, I think, right near it. The trees. Looks quite a dense place because there's lots of greenery, like a forest. It's a quiet, secret place where you would find them. And then we've lots of pretty flowers around here and lots of greenery. And let's see if we've got any of these. It's a little bit different with them. Dreamer Designs, where it's under 150. With Dreamer Designs, they normally put them right at the bottom of the legend. Let me get that right for you. Right at the bottom of the legend. Can you see those there that are a little bit different? Those are the ABs. So when I'm putting saving the ABs as well, I do name them Dreamer Designs or Diamond Art on the little packets that I use. Right. We've got AB38. A, B, 0, 8. So we've got two in this kit. And one to me looks like a white. And the other one is like a blue. I should imagine we've got them on the back there. And we've got them coming in the water there. And the waterfall. Which is going to be lovely. And it's not too big. 60 by 60. And I've seen frames for that size. But I've got, I've, I've got a new thing coming up where I will frame it for you but it's a little bit different so and much easier for people i think so let's have a look at the drills what they've given us we've got two packets so this one says two of two can you see that there and this one says two one of two there we are the visitor looking at these you know there's some lovely colors let's have a look and get into one of these bags and unlike my last video i'll try and do it a bit better than i did before so i was saying to people um how many to get them back in so this one looks like a one two three four so we'll try it can always try we're giving it our best shot and we know we've done well right so let's look at these numbers this one is 918 915 we've got 906 2 3 905 904 so all these shades of green we've got 890, 890, 890, so we've got three bags of those, 890, we've got an 823, which I know is like a navy blue, let's see what we have here, it's very little in that one, what is that one, that one is three double two we have a three one nine which is a dark green a three one nine another three one nine so that's three of those you can imagine there'll be a lot of green and browns but there seems to be some bright colors as well nine twelve nine eleven three ten three ten two banks in this one and then we've got very little in that one, that's 166, 158, 8. we have 
two bags of jars. There's quite a small amount in there. Mm, 418 grey. And that one is four. That's four double three. We have a 472. We have, have a look at that one. 498. Yeah, it's quite a, it's like a terracotta colour, that one. A ready brown. Imagine a red brick. That one is 501. And that one is 502. 503. They look quite grey, those colours. 550. That's quite a lovely purple. Oh, that will be nice. I should imagine that will blend into the flowers. This one is 158, 166, 310. Oh, I'm going over the same one again, 310. So we've done all those for that bag. I'll do this one now. that bag separate because it looks as like it's a little bit smaller than the other one. You see if they've got any left over they've tucked them in. That's all you have to do. So let's have a look at what we've got here. We have 920. We have 921. And then we have 922, 938, 939, that's a really dark blue, 939, that's two bags of that one, let's have a look at this one, 5946, sorry, 38, no, 966, Nine double eight, and that one is nine eight nine. I bet this one has got the ABs in. Let's have a look. Yes, this is an AB, it's quite a chunky bag as well. This is a lovely sort of forest green or chartreuse, it's like. Can you see the ABs on that? Let me show you if you can see them, sort of. Every now and then you'll get a glisten of a different colour. Can you see it? Yeah. So there's one bag, but it's quite a good bag for ABs. So that's AB38 and AB08, which is a white one, which is a lovely one. We have 3811, that's beautiful colour. It's like a blue turquoise. We have 3810, that's a nice green. 3809, 3808, you see how, if it's just one below, it's normal with a lot of group of colours that the shades are very similar. So we've got that one and that one, and then a bit deeper, we've got uh, 3750 which looks blue if you can see it on there right now 3806 3808 sorry which is a I'd say it was a lilac colour we've got 3607 which is quite pink and we've got 3371 which we know is quite dark uh, yeah, so let's have a look, see if we can find these ABs, what numbers they go on and things. I like the drills to one side. I don't want to mess up like I did on the other video. I will sort it and get I'll learn my routine and get it down to a team, people. There we are, look at that. If you're all in the bags, jobs are good in because you know you've got them all. Right, so these ABs are going to be the letters, are going to be 
the letter T and the letter O. So I need to look for the letter T and the letter O. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Mm, letter T, letter O. There is some T's down here. Yes, there's quite a lot of teas in the water. Yes, all the way up here. And the letter O. Sorry about that. The letter O. Yes, we've got a lot of O's here. If you can see the horse's mane there and tail. We've got some O's here. Everywhere where you see the white, the lightest colour, we've got some O's. Now you can see the the deer there with its youngster there. I did see it now. I've got it. There we go. Yeah, there's a lot of T's here. T's anywhere else? It's really some teas here teas here all throughout the waterfall are the teas and we've got some here I think that's to highlight the deer and the little fawn uh, yeah we've got some here in this lush green part here we've got some there some there and there and also we've got some O's and T's throughout there to indicate the light coming through because it is quite a dense place we've got some lovely flowers down here and I think those drills there's some beautiful colours I mean they're going to go lovely in the flowers I think this is going to be really nice like lush dense forest and as it prevails the visitor has come just wants to be quiet and gentle and have a drink from the waterfall running it down beside it if anybody has any questions or they'd like me to answer I'd be more than happy to hope you enjoyed this video today um, tune back in for another video and we'll do another damn dark club. Okay, thank you for watching. Bye.